then how does gravity get out of a black hole? And the answer was a little fishy to me. <laughs> they said, well, there's a gravitational field that's always there. And it's a change in the gravitational field that moves at the speed of light. And I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what the dude told me. And otherwise he couldn't get gravity out of a black hole where the black hole doesn't let anything get out, even the speed of light. And if the gravity moves at the speed of light, how's the gravity going to get out of a black hole? I just don't think of it that way. I, I think about gravity as the geometry of, of space-time. And the black hole is part of that geometry. And the things that we can know about, and this is true for light as well, are only things that are outside the horizon of the black hole. So what I've always been taught, and I think I learned this maybe even from Kip Thorne, uh, was that you, it's not meaningful to think about what happens inside the horizon because we don't even know if our laws of physics would hold there or not. And so when I think about gravity traveling at the speed of light, what's actually traveling at the speed of light is a gravitational wave, and it's only really meaningful outside of the horizon. She dies out. No, no, that's good. That's good. That's, that's an important distinction that physics had to mature into as a field to realize there are things that are beyond your knowledge and therefore you, there's nothing you can say about it. Right. At all. Uh, for now, I, you know, who knows what, which, what other forces we might discover that would describe something inside that horizon. Okay, but, but right now that's not, not happening. Right. Okay, so, but a change in gravity would then be a ripple, a change in that sort of thing that I'm feeling out there. Right. And, and we can just watch that at the speed of light. Because we'd say if we pluck the sun from the center of, the, of our solar system, you wouldn't know about it for eight minutes and 20 seconds. You'd still orbit, we'd still feel the heat, we'd still feel the gravity, everything would be normal, and then eight minutes and 20 seconds later, we fly off at a tangent in the dark <laughs> right. and freeze in interstellar space. Have a nice day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How that's gonna happen. But those eight minutes before are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> did Einstein, I don't know that I've seen the paper that did this, did he predict gravitational waves? Yeah, so Einstein, when he was developing the theory of general relativity, and this was the theory of gravity. So the, the thing that, so we all learn in school, Newton's version of gravity. And Newton's law has been, it's easy to understand, it's intuitive, it says you have two objects that have mass, and they're going to feel a force of attraction between them. And it was quite quantitative. He said the force of attraction will be proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance separating them. 